Aha, uh -huh, funny joke, part 69. Uh, let's go, Eevee. Can this guy get a fishing rod? Yeah, super rod, sweet. I can't particularly say I want to go fishing, but we could. Mmm, lure balls. Oh, we gotta go talk to Kurt, actually. I believe we did get healed up. So, this episode. <clears throat> gonna be going into Union Cave. Again. Uh, there's like more route up there we could explore. I wanna do Union Cave, you know what I mean? Uh, I think our repel is still on. Now it's refreshed. Alright. Let's surf down this way. Nothing at all? Nothing at all? Alright, well I think I found the route we need to go last time. I thought there was a cave up that way. Huh. Oh well. Um, so. There is cave here, up this way. This is like the easy one to get to, right? I feel like there's a team in here. I feel like it's decisively meh. A decisively meh TM. Yep. Alright. Oh, well, good to have. Uh, as well as a X Defend, alright. However, there is some water. That means we can hop on to Juna. find more cave and more fights so in order to get to this point in the cave this guy had to have had surf right hiker hiker leonard i don't think your golem can learn surf i wonder sometimes how these trainers get where they are because they very clearly do not have the hms required to get there very clearly Is uh, exactly a third of my life. And that's gonna be exactly 100% of his life. So, there it is. Still in the process of leveling up for Fox, as we got some uh, stuff that's gonna be weak to fire going up, I believe. Let's do the same thing this time in 3-hit KO with Nightshade. Four hit KO. <laughs> uh, you know, honestly, Nightshade seems like a move that should cause flinching. Based on the animations from uh you know, it's like you just see this gigantic I guess I guess it's like it like it looks like it temporarily dynamaxes, right? There's no way this one kills, right? Come on, we still resist it. Alright. Well, if you add up the total damage that he did, it's exactly Haunter's hit point. Hit points. So there's that. But uh Bryn Wraith wins this day. Inviting me to join him. I'm going to walk slowly away. Slowly around the corner and then try my own. Oh, he's not alone. Alright, I'm gonna get through some other way. There's, there's another guy right around the corner. Talk about living alone together. Philip. Lillian. Alright, more golems for Bryn Wraith to kill. Like it. Don't so much like it because it's not easy pickings for Renard, but, you know. We get there.
slightly less damage. Hmm. Will we have something besides a golem or a machamp? Nope. At least we have viable ethers in this game, which helps to make up for, you know... I don't know what it helps to make up for, but I guess it helps me to avoid feeling like, Oh man, I gotta conserve all these ethers, well, what if I need them? This guy just had three golems. He did a lot of trading! Reminds me when I used to do EV bases, and uh, back in third gen, was it? It was golems, actually. It was golems. It was golems that only knew, like, I don't know, like, defense curl or something. Suffice to say, it was a bunch of, like, whatever the minimum go level for golem was, because golem gives plus three defense EVs, right? So, the thing I did, and uh, I had a file that was just all... Oh, stop. I ain't trying to be here. Um, right. Yeah, I am, though. Uh, yeah, so I just had, like, a team of six golems, and there was another one where I had a team of... I think it was actually six shiftry for plus attack. Um, I can't recall what they all were, but... Anyway, that was it was, a, it was a series that I went through, playing through runs on Emerald. I don't think I actually finished it, though. And I still have an emerald cartridge named Special Defense. SP.DF. Hey, you got another Pokemaniac with, uh... Oh, Andrew! Shout out to, uh, Andrew, the inventor of the No Sinners, No Marts. From... Alright. 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 We're... Whatever, he's gonna do some stupid move. We're gonna two-shot the flamethrower. It's gonna be fine. It's gonna be fine. He, in fact, boomeranged. That's... Well, he didn't kill us, though. Turned out good. Um, HP Ice guys, it's possible to kill him with that. some XP. And then we can go into... <laughs> it's such a chore to go into Clarock every time. You know, if we weren't trying to level up our Fox, we should totally put the experience share on Clarock. Because Clarock is kind of the one poke that I'd like to keep up with the party, but such a chore to use. Maybe once we kind of finish this, or maybe if we do do a grind session, we'll slap the experience share in Clark. We, I think we did get the red scale, right? That's the way you get experience share? I don't think we currently have an experience. At least I assume they made it a whole item again in this game. <laughs> he says the lit. Oh, he's de Whoa. He's delirious with joy. There are some weird people in Union Cave. You got this guy who lives in Union Cave. He just lives down here with his three golems and invites you to join him. Freaking weirdos. All right, I'm gonna do it like this because I don't wanna form this spot in. I don't know if I want to know what his research is, but we're about to find out. Got yeah, Calvin. He's got a cane. That better not be Mega. That's banned. Thing. Uh, we sure didn't heal up Renard. Okay. I, I was really hoping for something stupid, and that wasn't something stupid. <sighs> Did nothing. 
That's not true. I like a quarter of one dollar. <laughs> We are well on our way to level, to level 60, I think. <laughs> yeah, you demonstrated on me. Mm. I feel like that's like styling on somebody, but in a scientific way. You demonstrated on me. I'm gonna go ahead and heal Juno up too. While we're having people chug water. Stay hydrated, people. I'm gonna express doubt on that one, sir. No cool items around. Very big water. Oh, hang on, there's women down in this cave. As well as elixirs. This cave is huge! Just gotta get past the dweebs. Let's go over here and talk to this lady. Care for a round, she says. I do care for a round. Here, Gwyn. Killing a Union cave with an Eevee! This is some, like, good, slow-pitch, like, not really challenging, but, you know, close enough to our level that we're getting some decent experience from it. So this is, this is, this is kind of what we need to see. Uh, Flareon, huh? I got nothing to do about that, except going to make our... I'm just kind of realized that Renard is like by far the highest level of the party right now. <laughs> but uh, it's kind of a necessity. Uh, we're gonna eat you. Maka. Maka. No, yeah, that was justified. Uh... <laughs> So, back in the business of earthquaking. Right, there we go, finally. <laughs> oh dear. See, all, all we needed was one. We just needed one earthquake. One earthquake is all we needed. Okay, Vaporeon, however, I guess we um, need to not for that. Um, I'm gonna go to... I don't want to go to... <laughs> it's gonna take forever. Um, I'm gonna go to Brynry. Okay. I think that's what we're gonna do to solve the whole Clairoc is lagging behind, is we're gonna go find ourselves a... In fact, while we're reasonably close to Violet City, we might go ahead and do it. Um, we'll find ourselves a... Experience share, slap it on the glare rock, and go to a grind session. It's the pair of rock. Lovely. Alright, that's gonna hurt a little bit. I actually think that Vaporeon has more than 45 hit points. It probably doesn't. But I'm gonna get the range just to be safe. Plus, I could actually use points. We could probably calculate from that. I was at 35, so... Mm, close, close. Jolteon, though, we can go back into Bernard. I like how this girl was just basically the kimono girls combined. But there's no way to spawn around. Dodging the T waves. Okay. 
You'll probably have better success than that guy who just has three golems. That's what I'm thinking. Oh, found another lady. Yeah, but what if they were in fifth gen? Hmm. Emma's got one Pokemon. Her only Pokemon that she likes is a Politoed. Rip Saramander. That's a reference that no one except for one person is probably gonna get. Uh, we're gonna Pokemon out of here. Uh, square into Brynwraith. Hypnosis! Also, my Haunter is not at full life. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna correct one of these problems first. The ant is gonna be the full health. Ooh. Water gun. Yikes. It's still actually a lot of damage. Uh, we're gonna outspeed Giga Brain. And I believe with this Giga Brain recovery, we will have well enough HP to live another water gun. Oh, yeah. Oh, carp! <laughs> uh, uh, yes! <laughs> Good job, Enraith. <laughs> the clutch thunder panic click. What? Okay. Is she referring to, like, Pokemon as babies? You know, like some people call them fur babies. You know, they refer to their pets. Or is... Is she saying she actually has, like infant children but like she's down here in Union Cave with her Politoed. Please explain yourself, ma'am. Wait, what? Oh. <laughs> Three times a week a Pokemon comes to the water's edge. Okay. I thought she was saying like some like old folk tale about a weak, like a, a not strong Pokemon. Not the case. Let's heal some folk up. Get some sip. Let's ether that, uh, we get ring back. All right. So those of you who know a thing or two might know that I'm talking about a Lapras. Um, appears to not be here today. Wasn't really interested in catching a Lapras anyway. Lapras is pretty cool. I like me some Lapras, but, you know. I think we're about to escape. I'm not sure he's spoken a true statement there. Alright, Nick, what you- Oh, it's Blah! Blah, what you got? Blah using Charizard? That better not be Dynamax. Ah, uh, you know what? I'll, I'll go Zard on, uh, go Zard on Renard. We're gonna confuse it first. I'm also 11 levels higher, so, you know. Yeah. Uh, the HP is because it is neutral versus the resisted, um, it's kind of the same math as super effective HP ice versus normal flamethrower. That was a very brief confusion. Gonna confuse it again. Because I don't like Charizard. A stupid dragon that's like four foot tall. You know who else is really short? Salamence. Salamence is actually really short. 
That one is like comes up to like your doorknob. That might be a slight exaggeration, but it's just pretty short. I'm pretty sure Garchomp though, Garchomp's actually like reasonably tall. Alright, we're not gonna stay on a blast toy though. We're gonna go back into Red Ray. And this is why we recovered our figure in. Full life, someone dropped thunder on him. That's an interesting protect animation. If it was raining, we could actually break through protect. Wow. So that was a bit of a waste of an ether, but you know. Hey, Ash, catch him from Pallet Town. That's why Ash would never evolve his Squirtle or... Actually, didn't Bulbasaur evolve? Or is that Cyndaquil? I think Cyndaquil is the one that evolved into Quilava. Like, randomly later in the series. He just, like, brought it out for one league and like, Ah, I got a, I got a Quilava. Cool. I mean, you gotta, you gotta keep Squirtle, because, you know, you can't be the War Turtle squad. Quickly check for items, and I'm pretty sure that we have obtained everything this cave has to offer. And with that, I really do not. Where's my escape? I really do not want to walk out past the uh, disturbing man. So we're just gonna do that. Oh no, we're in the ruins of elves! No! Uh, what's in here? I don't want to go. No. Is this like in the grass where you find Natsu Zatu? Oh, by the way, do we have like weird stuff in the book here? Or I really do not care about the unknown decks. I wouldn't mind, uh... The Ruins of Alf is, I think, one of the coolest areas in, the in like, any game. Because it's right there off to the side, but it's completely optional. Like, it's right there, but you don't have to go to it, ever. It's just right there to the side, and it's like a reasonably complex area too, right? So for our potential upcoming grind session, uh, as you know, uh, I believe the last grind session we did involved doing some stuff with Lieutenant Surge. So we could kind of do the same thing, but again, on whoever we need to you know, do the stuff on. And re-challenge like a different difficulty, basically, which I think is a really cool feature in this game. As you never know, like you could have done them in different orders and seen different teams. You know, like I'd like to, I'd like to see what Bugsy's team would be like if you if you somehow got to Bugsy as the first gym. You know, like you just walked all the way over there. I think that would be pretty cool. But we might do that eventually. Um, I thought we had a red scale. We definitely don't have an experience ship. Pretty sure we do not have currently have an experience. But I'm, I'm kind of curious if there's like a way to get another experience. So that I can like keep the red scale, you know? Or does Bodhi still have the red scale? I think Bodhi makes that with the red scale. Or an experience ship. 
Everstone, we don't want that. I mean, we kind of want that, because the game keeps prompting me to evolve Makar, which is wrong. But no. Uh, okay. Well, I guess we don't have access to an experience here. Oh, well. Uh, well, we're in Violent City for nothing, but I will see you guys next time as we move into the 70s on this LP, which I really would like this to not take 100 parts, but it's getting close. Later days.